Hi, I'm Jimmy Butler, and welcome to the Agile Digest, where we have right-sized topics covered in just minutes. Today's topic is around the Agile Manifesto value of individuals and interactions over processes and tools. It's about three minutes. Enjoy. In this digest, we're going to talk about the Agile Manifesto value of individuals and interactions over processes and tools. And the disclaimer here is that while there is value in the item on the right, we value the item on the left more. So we value the individuals and we value the interactions more than the processes and tools we put in place. And the picture on this screen here demonstrates one of the extremes where everybody's face to face. There's a very low tech tool behind them with sticky notes on the board. Your reality might be a little bit different, but let's talk about that. So as we dive into the first part of the statement, that individuals and interactions piece, let's just understand that people deliver solutions, not processes and tools. And so when I look at the 12 principles of Agile that stem from the manifesto, I come up with five that I think relate to this. One is business people and developers must work together daily throughout the project. So we're talking about the individuals and their interactions, daily interaction. We build projects around motivated individuals and we give them the environment and support they need and trust them to get the job done. So we're trusting individuals, we're trusting the team. It's all about the people. And the most efficient and effective method of conveying information within the development team is face-to-face -face conversation. Face-to-face -face is always going to be preferred. It's not always realistic, but that's what's preferred. The best architectures, requirements, and designs, they emerge from self-organizing teams. Again, the focus is on the teams coming together to interact and come up with solutions. And then at regular intervals, the team reflects on how to become more effective and then tunes and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Well, coming together to reflect on what did we just do, what did we learn, and how can we do better, and coming up with those adjustments is a great interaction that requires individuals and interactions. On the other side of this statement is the processes and tools. Now, yes, we prefer the individuals and interactions over this, but processes and tools can support the team and facilitate interactions. We know that reality gets in the way of the ideal. We can't necessarily always be face-to-face -face in the same room looking at sticky notes on a board and collaborating. Sometimes we have to work remote. We're not always together in the same place at the same time. And so processes and tools do help with that. The processes can support standards and provide guidance. The tools can connect remote team members, provide data integrity, and give you a way to access the information anytime, anywhere. So in summary, in Agile, people matter, and more gets done with personal interaction. But processes and tools can help, but they cannot replace the individuals and the interactions. So even if you're using tools to help you with your job, don't lean on them so much that you're getting away from personal interaction and discussion. Not leaning on the tools to facilitate all of your communication. Find ways to get together and to interact and collaborate because that's what's going to get the most work done and that's what's going to help the team grow and become stronger as a group. Well, that concludes this digest. I always welcome your feedback, so please email me at the email address on the screen. Thank you.